Hey, John Marshall here with HL Integrators. It is time for another episode of Now You Know. And specifically on my mind this morning is yesterday I talked about SaaS and all the ways you can use it. But whether you're using just a account, a agency level or a SaaS level product, there are digital assets that get consumed. And what I mean by that, it does cost to do bulk mail. It does cost to do text messaging. It does cost to use the smart numbers. Now, although they go high level, you can have as many smart numbers as you want and they're for free. The actual consumption, the use when we're using it, there's a cost. And if you're uh, under a SaaS client, it may be included if not, but you're making relationships, whether it's um, with some provider to do each of those things. And you need to be aware of that. It doesn't happen for free. So with us, we give our clients credits each month to allow it to happen. But I, I, let, let me just jump out of talking and share the screen with you so you can get an understanding of what's going on here. And it's really straightforward. I'm in SaaS mode um, because that's what we are. I'm in one of our clients I, and I can just scroll up to the very, very top. I'm in a client called the Richmond Club. They're a SaaS client and they have consumption use. So whether it's around their phone numbers for making phone calls to their clients or sending out text messages or email, they are part of that. And we're able to see what their consumption is, how much they will get based on what they have and the system tracks what their burn is. So they currently have $9.63 available to them. And this tells us for every $10, what kind of volume they'll get. So whether it's reselling the Twillow smart stuff, which is all your, your uh, text messaging and uh, digital phone calling, you know, for 10 bucks, it, it shows what they'll get. And here is what they get from email. And what their costs are and consumption. And it's important to understand this because it is part of the ongoing cost. It's not free and people have this illusion. I buy the software and yeah, it's fantastic. It's all included, but you're still consuming. Consumables always have a cost, just like your internet, right? You've got bandwidth, you've got to buy it and pay for it. So, so do we do with these smart things. So you want to be mindful of what you're doing in this area. And that just sort of leads me to the other part that I wanted to talk about today. And I'm just gonna switch into a account because it will just um, let you see this a little further. Uh, let's choose, uh, we're gonna take a RetireWise client and it will start out at their dashboard, which is fantastic. This sort of leads me into that conversation about phone numbers and, and different things. So we're gonna go into their settings and we're gonna go into phone numbers. And uh, there's a couple things you need to know. Really, really, really important. Right now there's a change in what's going on in the text messaging world. And we need you to understand that. There is what's called your A2P 10 DLC registration. This client has not done it. You must get registered, registered if you wanna be compliant for doing text messaging. It's a changing world. It was the last savior of our private space that is being beaten up and taken advantage of. And they're now starting to regulate it. Just as we have rules about email spamming, unsubscribe stuff, text messaging is coming with its own set of rules. And just so you know, from our point of view as a digital agency, we do not text message cold. We only text message with people that are engaged with us because we find it that most people, if you're going to look at where they'll unsubscribe, where they'll get angry with you, where they'll get annoyed with you is in unsolicited text messaging. It drives me crazy. Text messages are urgent to me. They're people I know and trust. So when I get unsolicited text messages, I feel offended. I feel upset and I immediately block or ignore them. And this is something that we need to remember. So when you're building your workflows and you're gonna use text messaging as a way to reach out to people, make sure you have a relationship with them first. They'll be okay if you send them an email. They're, 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 that's just sort of a more acceptable norm. They're gonna be actually okay if you phone them because they'll decide whether to pick up or not. Just don't text message until they engage the process with you and say that's okay. Because we find that where our clients seem to lose their most leads 
unnecessarily is through an overuse of text messaging. So again, to use all of these smart numbers and all this text messaging technology, you now have to be compliant and fill out this application and get it submitted and approved to stay in order. You can operate without it, but you'll be offside and that could put you at risk. So that's one thing that you need to know. The second thing, in Go High Level, text, you don't buy your phone numbers, they're free. You can buy them in one of two ways, singularly, or in pools. Pools are designed for when you're doing a, a lot of marketing and you wanna have a unique number for each of your campaigns. And that way you can track what's coming in from each phone number associated with a the campaign. Then you have your standalone numbers, which are designed to be with the individual, which we've seen here, that they've got one number attached to this, it's forwarded to, to someplace, and there's some variables and you assign it to the users that are on your account. So you can have hundreds of these numbers. I typically, when I set an account up, I think of um, at least five to 10 clients because you don't have a lot of control on what that new number is gonna be. So when you first set up, it's a great time to grab a bank of numbers that have similar prefixes on them so that you can have some uniformity in your system and I bulk them up, doesn't cost you a dime and you don't use, if you're not using them, they just sit there, but you have them in reserve for as you expand and grow. And it's a powerful component. This then becomes activity. Now I'm gonna show you an area that you're only gonna see if you are a SaaS administrator. But what's important is that we do get reporting that lets us see how we are and who we are going to and consuming. So I can look at this client and see they used in the month of July, which today, this weekend will be the last, they've already spent $7.19 on their text messaging. It's not a big number, but it's a number. And if you've got lots of people consuming, this number can go up. Last month, they used $3.02. So what's the difference? I got to ask the question, how come you did this? And what are they doing in order to do that? And previous, they've been as high as 1397. So this helps us and the client understand what their consumption is. Someone that is like a real estate agent is doing a lot of callback and using the calling system. Yeah, they'll on average spend 60 to $100 a month, depending on how many, and, and more agents, more the cost. So you gotta remember this, just like your cell phones, the more people you have, the more cost you have. So it's not free. Even when you're calling through so when you're using the system to call through and we're channeling through these numbers, there is a cost. It's small. You can see we're talking fractions of cents to a, a call, but you still need to be aware that it's there. So my whole point of today's exercise is to remind you about digital marketing, that the system embeds it. You can choose your provider. We happen to be working with Twilo for our phones. Uh, actually, the phone system we now use is directly with Go High Level, and they're reselling, and we resell that back out. You yourself have to choose this. Remember, you do have to go in and do your A2P compliance now. This isn't an option. It's a must. So please make sure you get that done and that you've planned your strategy of costs. So now you know a little bit more about SaaS and the granularity to which you can manage it so that when you're buying and choosing the packages as a SaaS owner, who, what size package am I taking? You've got to not only think of your consumption, but each of the consumptions of all the people that you bring beneath you and how much you're giving them for their $97 or their $197. How much digital marketing are you going to include in the package? And then what is the ongoing cost and sharing that with your clients so they don't have a surprise in the middle of a campaign and run out and can't continue forward. So just food for thought, think about it. Always plan for, for the best, choose the packages and the companies that best meet the needs of the niches that you're serving so that your clients have a powerful, seamless experience. And guys, if you're just an account user, one of the perks of working with someone like us that's a white label reseller is that we cover all that setup. So when you get your account, all those engines and all those decisions are, are, are dealt with. So all you do is consume. You don't have to worry about do, who your bulk mail provider is, what size package you do, what volumes. We just buy it so, and we know that we can handle a million emails a day and that whatever the consumption is, if we resell it to you after certain levels, 
the bath engine is babysat by us versus going direct to go high level you have to make those choices and still purchase those components and deal with it anyway guys this has been another episode of now you know a little more insight into the SaaS world and if i don't say this i'll get in trouble with dave please subscribe to our channel now you know we the more people that are there the more we can get this word out and also if you want your 14 day free trial just click the link in the the bar below and get your free 14 day trial we're here to help you always here to try to help bring light and shed insight into go high level i'm john marshall this is now you know we are hl integrators have a great day